Tottenham Hotspur have announced in a statement that pending a final meeting for the summer transfer window ahead, Conte will be backed by Tottenham. Paratrici is already getting to work to start a list of transfer targets. Many transfers already emerged. Key interest on so many players that we are going to talk about. Plus, on the verge of finally announcing our first signing. Hello and welcome to another upload. If you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. In this video, we are going to be exploring each transfer rumour, or as many as possible really, since, you know, journalists do talk a lot of. We're going to be looking at some key emerging articles, and we're just going to basically explore these. If you like this sort of content, then please comment below and let me know which other things you'd like me to talk about in regards to transfers or anything really to do with Tottenham. Let's talk about this club statement. In the club statement, Tottenham London, Tottenham Hotspur Limited, or Spurs, has today, Tuesday the 24th of May 2022, agreed a capital increase of up to £150 million from majority shareholder. Is Levy all right? And exports via the issue of convertible A shares and accompanying warrants. The equity injection provides the Premier League club with greater financial flexibility and the ability to further invest on and off the pitch. Honestly, as a Spurs fan, that is normally unheard of. The chairman Daniel Levy said the following, the delivery of a world-class home was always a building block in driving diverse field revenues to enable us to invest a team and support our ambitions to be consistently competing at the highest of levels in European football. Additional capital from Enic will now enable further investment in the club at an important time. It, ma it makes you think really, maybe all this time Levy was saving up and trying to find a special occasion. I mean, I guess you've got Antonio Conte, so you do kind of need to use that on a special occasion because we've got Antonio Conte. My thoughts of this as a Spurs fan, honestly, when I first heard about these things, I, I honestly almost choked on my tea. I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It's absolutely unheard of. It's normally penny pinching and trying to find bargain sales as you've seen in the past. I mean, let's not forget as well when we had Baldini, who was doing Peratrici's current job with a hundred million pound budget with a Gareth Bell money and ended up signing majority of the players just rubbish. And none of them even play for Spurs anymore now. Honestly, for me, I think that I'll believe it when I see it. Like, it's all good talking this. It's all good announcing that you're actually finally backing a manager. But it depends on how the deal goes, in my opinion. And I think that this is one of those things where we need to wait and see, you know. Is the club acting like a big club or is it just talking like a big club? For me, it's how you act, not how you talk. But let me know in the comments below what you thought about this statement because um, I'm, I'm I am still a bit baffled by this, I have to be honest. I mean, if you were a Spurs fan, then you'd understand. But in fairness though, we are on the verge of signing a player. Not a big player by any means, but something that's definitely needed. I mean, our key priority signings is a goalkeeper, centre-backs, wing-backs, and this candidate, to be fair, fits the criteria. According to Fabrizio Romano, Fraser Foster will be announced as new Tottenham player very soon. Paperwork's ready as he's going to join Spurs on a free transfer. He was considered the best option in the market for a backup goalkeeper. If we just look further into the stats here, uh, Ryan Forster obviously did not really play majority of the games for Southampton. He made 19 appearances, one yellow card, uh, 35 goals conceded, but three clean sheets kept. In the Premier League as well, he has been part of that winning team just six times with yet again mentioned three clean sheets. Okay, look, these are my thoughts. I think that with a second goalkeeper, there is not going to be ever much high demand. I mean, most fans, when they see a second goalkeeper, I don't know, maybe it's just with the Spurs fan base. I'm not sure, but second goalkeepers do get slated a lot for their pass and when they're actually playing as well, when you're looking at pass stats. But people need to get to grips and realize it's a second keeper. They don't play often. They're not as good as the first team keeper. So I don't know why people pipe up about that. In my opinion, really, I think that this is a great signing for Tottenham. I mean, Ryan Forster overall has made 134 appearances in the Premier League with 42 clean sheets. He's got experience in the league. I mean, why not have Forster for a second team keeper? I mean, we're not Man City. You're not, we're not Liverpool. You know what? And you know what? Even their second keepers are just really not that decent. And teams within the top six probably wouldn't even sign them. The Southampton goalkeeper is set to have a medical. And um, my thoughts on this honestly is, is that being aged 34, he's still got time. He's still got time as goalkeepers do tend to last a lot longer. And, you know, I was particularly impressed with him um, when we actually lost to them. He was a key asset to their win, saving a lot of shots. So, you know, why not have him as a second keeper? A good way to start the transfer window business, really. There's a lot of transfer rumors that have emerged, but the one player that I really want to talk about is Kostic. Kostic is a wing-back for Frankfurt and part of the winning side in the Europa League that defeated Rangers. 
A lot of people have raised concern about his age being 29, but perhaps that can be overlooked by looking at his stats. So in the Europa League, his stats have involved 12 games, three goals and six assists. And that is indeed an amazing achievement for Frankfurt, Serbia and for the hardworking man himself. In the Bundesliga, he has made 31 appearances with four goals and nine assists. And to compare this in Europe's top five leagues in 2021, he has achieved the most crosses, the most chances created, most big chances created, most expected assists, second most open play chances created, second most assists provided. These stats were provided by Squawker. Honestly, I don't know what we're playing at. Get this player in now, in my opinion. With our current wingbacks, we don't see enough of that. We don't see enough crosses. We don't see enough chances created. I think this, with his record, could be the perfect addition as a wingback. Perhaps maybe with early days in the transfer window, let's see if uh, there might be a better wingback with better stats. And for that, I want you to comment below. Comment below a suggestion of other wingbacks you would like in mind. Confirmed by Alistair Gold, Tottenham are expected to make a move for Kostic. But according to Fabrizio Romano, Kostic to Tottenham is not currently advanced. So really, you know, you've got to look at the context. Expected to, but will it happen? I don't know. Like I said, plot is in the pudding. We just got to wait and see. We also have a centre-back linked for us, but we're battling a rival Premier League side, Man United, for this signing. This centre-back, who goes by the name of Bastoni, would be a great addition, especially with Conte's playing style of a hybrid attacking football and transitional mix. Just some quick stats. Passes completed, 42 out of 45 brackets, 93%. 18 forward passes. That was in the 2020-21 season when Inter Milan won the league. In Serie A, he has made 31 appearances with one goal and three assists, along with four yellow cards. However, the only concern is, is that Alessandro Pastoni is non-transferable in Inter's plans for the summer transfer window. Unless it arrives a rich bid of around 60 million euros. Two clubs have already shown interest in the Italian centre-back. Presumably that is Tottenham and Man United. According to a Man United source, though, according to the faithful MUFC, Man United have told £51 million offer will be accepted. So maybe we might have a bit of a battling of bids, really, with Man United. We'll just have to wait and see if this even goes the distance. Tuto Sport have also confirmed that Inter are looking to sell him for at least £60 million in order to make profits. He is expected to be the player who is sold to raise funds. So this is going to be about a battle of um, accepting one's bid and which club he would like to join. I think personally, the fact that there is an Italian manager um, that might raise interest for Pastani to want to join. The fact as well that this is a style of play that Conte implements, that he benefited a lot when he was at Inter himself under Conte. So he'd like to play again with a former manager. I think also what we need to mention as well is the fact that Pastani has won four trophies in the space of one year. Four trophies in the space of one year. Domestic Cups the Euros and Serie A trophy. I think personally, this would be a very big statement signing and definitely an adjustment and improvements to play alongside Romero and hopefully maybe another centre-back slash Eric Dyer. Excluding Forster off of this, these two signings just mentioned would be probably very pivotal additions to the squad. The fact that we have a wing-back that is able to make those amount of crosses and hopefully be able to implement that from Bundesliga to Premier League and a centre-back with so much experience of winning trophies for club and country and being able to be a part of Conte's philosophy. We're linked with Perisic as well, who will be a free in the summer. Is If that's a player you want as well, comment below. And maybe, depending on how the news goes, I could drop a video on that too. But that's it for the transfer rumours. Let me know what you thought of this video. And also comment below which other players you would like to see in a Tottenham shirt that Daniel Levy should get his checkbook out for and sign. That's it for today. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.